5090 FE might run the quietest for the performance? No. The 5090 FE is a workstation card. That's how I... Oh, or maybe ITX. But consider it a quadro. That's it. Because it's two slot. Hard as fuck to disassemble. Complicated as fuck. Runs hot as fuck. Like, like it's it's like it's like I think people just um like maybe Nvidia should have marketed it a bit different. They should have been like, if you want a gaming card, you should probably go with an AIB model. Like, if you want a gaming card, get the fucking Astral, right? Or get the fucking Supreme, or so get a, get a get a monstrosity, right? This thing is gonna be like hot as hell, dude. You're gonna have to undervolt the shit out of it, right? You don't want to disassemble it. It's gonna have liquid metal spill everywhere. It's a pro card. It's a workstation pro card. I would not buy it for gaming. If you have to spend two thousand dollars like it's a two thousand dollar card too so like so here put it this way put it this way here this is the best way that i could describe it yeah like it would benefit the most from a water block but then you bought the wrong card and the your goal of why you bought the card is mismatched with what the hell you want right 5090 fe versus let's say a tough and they're both $19.99. This one will perform better out of the box. Easier to water block. Two HDMI ports. Mega. But it does take up like four fucking slots, right? This one runs cooler. This one, you should only get it if you need a 5090 in an ITX box. Or you need more slots out of your motherboard for workstation. Otherwise, it's going to be worse in every single way to a tough. Performance-wise, right? So why would you bother? You know what I'm saying? Like, like if I get a 5090 FE, that's going in the workstation, man. I'm not going to game on that thing. You know what I'm saying? And that way, I, that way I get to use the other slots on my pro art motherboard without having to water block it, right? Yeah, this is... This is what you buy when you don't want a water block. It's the opposite, right? That's how I look at it. I mean, to, to each their own, but that's how I look at it, right? 5090 FE might run the quietest for the performance. No. Uh, no, 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 no. I already got... Well, they didn't tell me the exact, like, D, the noise DB levels, but they said it runs fucking hot. It, it, obviously, dude, it's... 575 watts out of two two fans man <laughs> like like it's, it's like it's like you know how like there's like do the math it's like you can kind of do the math on physical metal area versus like physical fan size too like i said it's like the laws of the laws of thermodynamics are always going to be applicable right it's going to be a hot fucking card dude she's going to be toasty but if it's in a workstation and you're like rendering something, it might only pull like 300 or 350 watts, in which case, yeah, it would be quiet. If you're playing on a 4K 240 hertz monitor, max settings, and it's pulling 600 watts, dude, I, I will be so surprised if that thing stays under like 85 Celsius at 600 watts. Like, I would be fucking blown away, dude. At, like, max fan speed. Like, literally. 600 watts? I don't think we have a... I don't think people have a concept of how much power 600 watts is, man. That's a fucking space heater. So, like, like when you buy... Like, dude, bro. Hang on. Bruh. Hang on. <laughs> like, like, fucking... Space heater. Like, you're telling me... NVIDIA engineered some shit. Uh, 
how many watts is this fucking thing? Like Nvidia engineered something that like can somehow keep a heat el a 600 watt heat element smaller than this. I don't. It doesn't make any sense, man. Oh, right here. Oh, it is a ribbon cable thing. Oh no, it's a daughter board. So th this one is a daughter board. This one. Oh, it is a daughter board too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, um, yeah, Dell has something very similar too. Yeah, rib a ribbon cable would have like that weird latch type shit. Like a laptop ribbon cable. Yeah, like this. Like you put the cable and then it latches down, right? This is more of like a physical um, daughter. Like th that's what they use for daughter boards. Like Dell daughter board connector. Like this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're daughter boards. They're daughter boards. No, I think so. I, I think this time around, it might be a little different. Um, because they are $2,000, I think you'll see more MSRP models. Like the tough, the, the, uh, the, not the trio, the, um, the Ventus, the Trinity, the, uh, gaming OC from Gigabyte. I think you'll see a lot more MSRP models because there's a lot more wiggle room with the $2,000 price tag, right? I think you will. Last gen was a bit tough at 1600. Even then there were some MSRP models. I think we will. I think we Now, now whether they'll be in stock or not. I sorry, let me rephrase. Like I think there will be more of them. But they'll still just flash the OC buy us and charge an extra $100 as long as those keep selling out. So like so, like, eventually, more MSRP models. Eventually, once the first couple of batches of $3,000 ones sell out, and then the stock starts piling up after, like, a year. They're eventually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying, though. What I will say about um, CES and today's stream and just the overall vibe of the hardware community or, like, the whole hardware scene other than like the California fire shit. But otherwise, it seems like everyone's like super stoked about hardware again, man. It's, it's cool. Like, again, we should be grateful to NVIDIA for stoking the fire, no pun intended. Stoking the fire under all the hard... Everyone's fucking, dude, everyone is so stoked about hardware again. Everyone's got like good vibes. Everyone's like happy and excited and shit. And it's not like another CPU launch where it's like the dip or like more chiplet garbage. It's fucking a monolithic fucking monstrosity that's shoved into a two slot. Like every people like that shit, man. People like that shit. People like seeing innovation that actually moves the envelope forward, right? I'm glad to see everyone excited about hardware again, man. And hopefully everyone enjoyed the CES coverage. Uh, thanks to all the subs and supporters and people that bought the course. And like, I was able to go to CES with no sponsorships and like, it was just awesome, man. I'm so fucking grateful and appreciative that I'm just, I'm, 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 in, I'm so appreciative that I'm the only guy that gets to go to these booths and just be himself. And I don't have to like sell shit. It's really nice, man. I, I really appreciate all you guys. Ah. Uh.